Have you seen the reality TV show Rust Valley Restorers? If so, you probably know Mike Hall, the guy in the show who fixes up old cars. So after the last season of Rust Valley Restorers, do you want to know what happened to Mike Hall? What does he do now and where is he? Find out what happened to Mike Hall by watching this movie. Now we start. Michael Mike Hall, co-owner of Rust Valley Restorers and head mechanic, is a well-known name in the world of restoring old cars. Since the 1990s, his work has been known all over the world because of his love for bringing old cars back to life. In 2018, the TV show Rust Valley Restorers was made. It followed Mike, his friend Avery Schoaf, and Connor Charman as they traveled across the United States. At his Rust Bros restoration shop in Tappan, British Columbia, they were on a mission to find old, broken down cars that were not being used and turn them into amazing rides. But his path to success was not always easy, and he had trouble finding buyers for his repaired cars because not everyone saw the beauty in these old cars after they had been fixed up. People were curious about what had been done to these old or classic cars, which made the whole thing even more interesting. In the show, Mike stood out because he worked hard to make classic cars look real and keep their past alive. Instead of using modern technology, he and his team used traditional parts and methods to bring these works of art back to life. This made him stand out, and people in the classic car world liked and respected him for it. Mike is known as the Rasta Blasta because his hair is always in dreadlocks. He was born and raised in St. Boniface, Manitoba, Canada around 1956. However, when his father got a new job at CP Rail, the family moved to Kamloops, British Columbia. Mike became interested in mechanics at a young age, just like his father, and he spent time in his family's shop fixing cars. As he got older, he started a business called Slope Stabilization, where he fixed up rock faces. With that business doing well, he was finally able to spend his weekends doing what he really loved, looking for unused classic cars in yards, scrapyards, and old sheds that he could fix up. After restoring several cars successfully, he chose to move back to British Columbia and start a new business called Rust Bros Restorations. Later, the show turned into a place where people could store and fix up old muscle cars, and they ended up with a collection of over 400 cars. Before, Hall had no plans to sell any of these cars because he did it because he loved them. But when he learned something, he changed his mind. He was worried about his future, so he thought about people who had died or had serious health problems and left their families with a lot of stuff. He wondered what his wife and children would do with the 400 cars. In 2016, he gave up everything he had worked on for most of his life. He did this because he was thinking about the long run. He asked for $1.19 million USD for a five acre piece of land in Tappan, close to the Trans-Canada Highway. The deal was for the whole show, which included all of the cars he had fixed up. Tyson Hepburn and Matt Chuchuk from Mayhem Entertainment in Vancouver finally got the deal done. Mike, who was nearing the end of his career, was taken in and given a life he could never have dreamed of. He also became known all over the world and earned a fan base that has grown by leaps and bounds in the four years since the show started and shows no signs of stopping. Mike talked about saying goodbye to his collection. Basically, I have mixed feelings, he said. I knew it would make my life easier, but I was sad that they were all leaving. But if they go to good homes and are used, I've done my job since many of these cars wouldn't be here if I hadn't brought them here. He also said, this has been my interest for the last 30 to 40 years. I don't remember people's names or where I put my car keys, but I do remember things about cars. He then said, I've quit many things cold turkey, but cars are the hardest habit I've had to break. In an interview, he was asked what his plans were for retiring and making more movies. He said that he was always making movies. Sivo VID 19 Cut season three is short, even though he said that he is looking forward to taking a break and going on a trip. Mike said about season five, we've been shooting for almost three years straight. I'd like to take a break, but you never know what's going to happen next. Mike felt like he couldn't go on like this. How you feel about Mike Hall? Do you think you should keep making movies and follow his heart? Leave a comment below and sign up to get more.